What is up loud and proud crowd? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. So we are back here working on the second gen Longhorn project. If you didn't see the video from yesterday, we did get the headliner installed on this truck and I gotta say it looks really, really good. But we are far from done with this interior. There's a grab handle there with the stitching. The whole ceiling is that saddle brown, steering wheel saddle brown. Now we're on to the next step and the next step for the interior is gonna be the dash cap. So the dash cap has gotta be changed, this dash cap is, um, well, let's just say cracked. It's in a kind of rough shape, and the dash caps themselves aren't really that hard to get off. You come over here, we've got a brand new dark saddle brown dash top for the truck. So this is a little bit of a different tone, obviously. This is like more of that dark brown saddle brown longhorn interior color versus like the newer like more light brown, saddle brown color. And so what we're gonna do, I'm, I'm still not 100% positive as to how I wanna do this, but I kinda have an idea and we'll see how that goes. We'll, we'll, I'll show you in a bit, but uh, we've, got, we've got some things brewing, I've got some ideas brewing and I think I wanna try to make something work. So just stay tuned, nothing's done yet but we're gonna to get to working on this dash cap right now. If you haven't done so yet, tomorrow is officially the last and final day for you to enter to win our 2019 Ram 3500 limited edition. This truck is cool, but this ain't no $80,000 truck. If you want the latest and greatest, the biggest, the baddest Ram truck ever produced, go enter today. Every $5 is two entries to win, and you could be taking home an $80,000 truck with less than 5,000 miles on it. So get entered while you can ends tomorrow, October 27th at 11.59 p.m. If you're watching this on the 27th, it ends today at midnight, so do not miss out. Get in late, Kim. So I got the dash installed. It was a pretty easy process. Um, I did have to make a couple slight modifications like I had to use a plastic washer that I had in the shop um, just so it's softer. But I had to use that around this hole that they had pre-drilled in this um, dash top because it was a little bit too big and the head would just go straight through the hole. But anyways, it's snug now. And this dash cap is really well fitted. Like there's like no weird gaps or no weird like holes or anything like around the dash that's like bad or ugly or just nasty. You know what I'm saying? Like it's really nice. And I did have to drill the holes through all these um, spots up top where, you know, you're supposed to take out those bolts, drill the holes and put this those holes through so that these will basically seamlessly mount together. And apparently this is not one of those dash tops where like you have to remove the whole other one and then put this one in. You just clip this over top. It basically snaps into place, and then you just gotta make sure you have your holes drilled and stuff. It just goes right in, but it's actually really nice. So I'm actually really excited about that. Again, we have to build a custom center console box. We have to put in the new seats. We have to put in the new floor because the carpet is just horrible. We've got a couple things to do. I got some comments on the visors, and a lot of people said that I should like buy a black vinyl leather, and then uh, basically do them like that. So. We'll see, that's the plan, I guess I'll try to do that. I'll try to order in some black vinyl so we can get these wrapped up, so I can get these done. Honestly, the tan wouldn't look too bad, but then again, you know, not a lot of people love too much of that, I guess. But, to be quite honest with you, it would look pretty darn good. So what I'm trying to de decide now is do I go with a black vinyl or do I get this dark saddle, like chocolate vinyl? to match the dash cap. This is another another decision that we have to make as a team here. So if you guys can comment down below, now that we have the dark chocolate slash dark saddle dash, should we go with the dark chocolate saddle color for the vinyl to wrap these or, or do we just go black like a lot of people are saying to do black? I'll leave that up to you guys. Get down in the comment section below there and you guys can sort that out with each other and uh, kind of figure out what you guys think would be the best move for that. But so far, again, interior's kind of, I mean, it's coming together pretty good. We got the new headliner in, 
We got the steering wheel cover done. We got the new dash top on, no cracks, no splits. Same on this side with the plastic washer, just to make sure it's all snug in there and ain't going nowhere. But anyway, so the interior is coming together. Who remembers how ugly this interior was? It's still kind of ugly. It's got some things that it needs done, especially with the carpet and the seats. But other than that, I mean, it's starting to look pretty good in terms of like the dash and uh, the ceiling. It's looking nice. So we're gonna get this all wrapped up here. And then I'm gonna be working on another piece over here that I didn't end up doing yesterday, but I wanted to. I'm gonna get to putting um, a leather wrapped grab handle on there right now. One more small step done. Check this out. It actually turned out really, really nice. Here, now let me see if I can show you this. There we go. Hand stitched the entire thing. It actually went around also and I trimmed the edges where there was a little bit of extra, kind of like the white part of the vinyl showing. You can kind of see a little bit there because I'm looking down in from over top, but um, the handle turned out really, really nice. Stitching was really really nice and even and spaced out everything looked good So anyways, that's one more part of the interior that needed to get touched up And there's also just there's so much stuff to do with this interior that is just crazy So what I think I'm gonna do right now attempt to take this panel out of the door and see if I can remove this carpetish nasty looking stuff and then uh, replace this actually as well with brown saddle leather so let's see if we can get that swapped out so i figured while we were in here messing with the door panels because we're going to leather wrap the door panels i might as well swap out the mirrors with mordecai's second gen slash third gen toe mirror so let's get these changed out real quick We got ourselves a tow mirror on, which means officially it's a Cummins, or at least a Dodge. Tow mirrors do make a big difference, especially on like the second gen Dodges. Well, I guess just really any of the Dodges, but especially the second gens, the mirrors that they came with in terms of those real small ones compared to these, so much different. I love the look of these mirrors over the others. So now our next step is gonna be tearing into this door panel and getting that top cloth part changed out with some leather. So our first step is gonna be drilling out all these little plastic rivets that go all the way around the panel. I did get one door panel in and it's just kind of sitting there temporarily it's not like fastened in because there were almost like some plastic rivets on the back holding that panel on and so I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do as a solution to keep it in place so there's still a little bit of a gap around it right now that's because it's not permanent I just kind of clipped the door lock and window um, control there, handle down in there uh, but other than that it's not permanently in place yet but that's the concept of what we're going for. And as you can see, it does fit really snug. I mean, there's nothing loose here, nothing loose here. The leather was well fitted. But of course, like, see how there's a couple little ripples right there and right there? Well, those will go away once we can fasten it in like that. You see what I'm saying? Just like that, and it's already like, it looks really good. Same with down here. It's just because like, we can't, it's not fastened solid into place yet. And so, since it's not, you know, pulled tight into there to seal everything off, it just, it's got a couple little ugly spots around the edge. You know what I'm saying, but that's all. Uh, but other than that though, I mean, it looks really good. Everything's well fitted. I cut all my holes out real nice. Not the same color as this, but we're gonna have to find some other things to complement that as well. We'll figure that out. And I did get the one mirror in. And um, other than that though, that's probably gonna be a wrap on this video today. So we just got that mirror put on because we had the door panel off. We're gonna do the other side once we get to that other side. 
since I'm gonna have to do it anyways, I'm just gonna do it then. And then of course we got that dash cap put in there today and uh, fit that in there and that looks really, really good. Let me actually get up in the driver's side seat, kind of show you the view as to what we're working with here so far. So here we are, we got the wheel done, we've got the ceiling done, that door panel needs to be, you know, solidly snapped into place there. But other than that, we got one door panel done. We got the grab handles both wrapped on that side. We got the saddle brown dash cap in here. I mean, it's going to look good. There's just so many steps to go over still and so many different things to do that it just takes so much time. And I hope you guys can understand that. I wish it didn't take so long and I wish we could kind of get like this crazy transformation, you know, done in a couple of videos. But... That's just not the way it's gonna be with this one. So hopefully guys enjoy that. If you guys like and enjoy this build, please let me know by leaving a thumbs up on this video. If you guys are excited about the transformation of this truck once it's actually all said and done, probably gonna be another month before the entire interior is done. Some of the other stuff we're gonna try to work on with that on the inside. But anyways, if you guys do like it, leave a thumbs up. Let me know that you guys like that. Do not forget, this is your last 24 hours to enter to win our 2019 Ram 3500 Limited. You'll see a video of it here at the end of this. Comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.